Year 11 and 12, like we just finished a topic called, what were we looking at? Derivatives. Yeah, differentiation and stuff, right? Tangents and normals, which is really, right, like kind of the first main part in a 12 course meal that is calculus, right? And calculus is the big theme of this course, really. Like we've just dipped our toes in it and we're just gonna go keep deeper and deeper and going into it in um, the rest of the year. Now, geometry, at least like deductive geometry, which is what this is really short for, deductive geometry, where you have to like construct proofs and all that kind of thing. Obviously it's connected to this because differentiation, at least we've seen is about gradient and so on, which is a geometric thing. But the whole making a proof and what have you doesn't really cohere to this. Like differentiation is can you calculate something and then can you use that result rather than can you just prove something is true or not? Okay. So this is an easy option to get rid of. Now I'm actually going to do something, I'm going to put you on the spot. I want you to imagine if you were in my shoes and you're like, okay, we have this topic that's in the senior math syllabus. Why would you keep this topic? if it's one of the least connected to the rest of what you're doing. What's useful or interesting about it that would make you want to keep it? Oh, yeah. it's not useful or interesting, but it's a hella hard to get it right. Okay, so it's a challenge. It's a serious challenge, yeah, like right? It's really specific, and if you're right, exactly, then you get it wrong. Okay, we will talk about that in a second when I give you some tips. But yes, it, in some ways, it, can, it has a bit of a reputation for being highly technical, right? Doris, did you want to make a suggestion? Um, it makes you think differently. Okay, before we leave off that and give get your suggestion, Raph, unless it was a, in a similar way, I want to push on that idea a little bit. It makes you think differently. Who wants to give a suggestion as to in what way? Because I think that's true, but it's also very broad. Anyone want to take a stab at it, Jack? You have to look at diagrams. Okay, so there's a lot of visual stuff, right? It's intensely visual. Like think of the opposite of like, what's the most like numerical type thing you're doing? Right, like maybe algebra is, is highly symbolic, okay? And so this is kind of like the opposite end of the scale, the scale, right? And we're gonna talk about like, yeah, you need pictures and drawings and all that kind of thing. So that's a different thing about it. Any other things that are different about geometry that are crucial in this topic? It's practical-ish. Okay, yeah, it's like, look, I, we are surrounded by, like you can see geometry because it's so visual and so it's all over the place, right? Like we are standing in a room that is full of geometry. It couldn't have been made without geometry, right? Raf, you had your hand up before. Did you have a different suggestion? Um, I was, I was um, going to say, um, because we're using proofs, it gets you in the mindset to do all the proof questions. Okay, so, what? in case you didn't catch that, this, in fact, <coughs> might be the thing, the thing. And I, I, I categorize it under thinking differently, right? Um, proof, proof is really the big idea that deductive geometry is getting at, which, you know, we, we prove things in differentiation, but where like proof was developed as an idea and where like mathematical logic really matured was in geometry, it was in geometry. Um, so the Greek mathematician Euclid, right? Um, who this field is named after, Euclidean geometry. Have you heard that phrase before? Uh, no, not quite, I don't think. I think that's a coincidence. Um, that, that logic to construct a proof, that's really, that's really the reason why deductive geometry is in a course which mostly has to do with calculus, right? It's because proof is such a, like if you did all, if you went through 13 years of mathematics and never really learned the rigors of how to prove something and have it without a shadow of a doubt be true and understand the logical pieces that put it in, then you haven't really learned mathematics, right? So that's why we're doing this. This is not just about memorizing a whole set of like rules and the exact wording and all that kind of thing. Um, it's about this, like a, ma a, a massive milestone in mathematics. 